a.m. and it's gone. I mean, if that happened in your house, would you think that was miraculous? And Gideon says, if this is you, God. Right? So then he puts out a, a sheepskin, wool, right? Let it be dry and all the ground wet. And that happens, which is weird. It's unusual. Huh. If it's you, God, let's do this again. This time, the sheepskin will be wet and all the ground will be dry. And it happens. And all along, it's always, if this is you, when do you know it's him? You don't like his answer. So I'm reading that one I started with, Romans 15, 13. May God, the source of hope, fill you with joy and peace through your faith in him. Then you will overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Joy and peace comes to you through your faith in him. No other avenue. Nothing I can say, nothing anyone else can say, will give you the joy and peace that you need until you have your faith firmly planted in him and he gives it to you. And occasionally I'll meet Christians there. I'm not sure I'm going to heaven. What should I do? Make sure. And, and yet there, yet there's always someone that wants to come up and interrupt us. I love that. Someone will ask me a theological question, which is my forte. And, and, and someone will interrupt me when I get ready to answer. But anyhow, um, They'll, some, someone come out and say, I'm not sure I'm going to heaven. There'll always be some well-meaning saint that'll come out and go, oh, you are. Oh, really? You've read that book, the book of life? You read the book of life in heaven where the names are written? Have you read that one yet? Because I haven't. You know what the scripture teaches? That the Holy Spirit is the guarantee of our salvation. The Holy Spirit is. If the Holy Spirit is not guaranteeing that person that they are saved, I need to pray for their salvation. Not convince them that they're okay. And, and so just experience talking invariably when people say, I'm not sure. After time and we spend time, we work on it. Some hidden sin comes up. That's why they're not sure. We need our hope in the Lord. And here's one of my favorite uh, scriptures. I mean, I like them all, obviously. But 2 Timothy 1.12. For this reason I suffer as I do. However, I'm not ashamed. I know whom I trust. I'm convinced that he is able to protect what he had entrusted to me until that day. And, and I've realized that God will take care of me. I know in whom I have believed. And he will take care of me whether he fills me in on his plans or not. And so many times, I just want to know what God's doing. He just doesn't want to tell you. <laughs> you know, who's going to win? God doesn't have to give me the details of my healing, the details of my life, the details of my future for me to know that he's taking care of it. How many believe that's true, right? Should be more than three or four people, right? We believe that's true. That's hope. Let's pray. Lord, may we, your people, and I, I used to know that as people here, we, we want to the right way. We want to walk with you. May we, your people, embrace your word of truth in a way that gives us hope. In Jesus' holy name, amen. Lord bless you guys. Thank you.